people, Piz out here, and this is the upcoming Arrow Video One Missed Call Trilogy Blu-ray set. Now in this video, I'm just going to do an overview of this set, give you guys a guided tour of everything that is included within this set. I do intend to do individual reviews of all three One Missed Call films. Um, this is the J-Horror one missed call not the awful americanized version um i have seen the original one missed call directed by takashi Miike many years ago um, i remember liking it quite a bit so i'm looking forward to revisiting it i have not seen either of the one missed call sequels so i'm interested in checking those out also so keep your eyes peeled for those reviews coming in the very near future but first let's check out the presentation here Got some very nice artwork there on the slipcase. I do like how kind of shiny it is. I love the green color. Uh, just some very nice artwork. Very nice presentation overall. We've got the names of the directors of all three films here at the top. Yeah, very cool. It's the spine. Here is the back of the release with the plot synopses. And as you can see there from the list of special edition contents, this release is loaded. We've got lots of archival extras and some new extras on here, but there's plenty to sink our teeth into uh, on this release. Just a loaded, loaded release. Here are the technical specs. This release is Region A locked. I really like the feel of this slipcase. I'm not sure how to necessarily describe it. I don't know what it's made of, but it's very smooth. Um, I just really like the feel of it. Um, and based on how smooth it is, um, you should have no problem sliding it in and out of your collection. If you keep your Blu-rays on a shelf, it'll slide very easily in and out of your collection. The slipcase is also made of fairly thick cardboard so it feels like it'll you know it can take a little bit of a bump without sustaining any damage but you have know, very nice uh slip case for this release yeah really dig it here is the case and a clear case which is always a nice touch the artwork on the sleeve here is the same as the artwork on the uh, slip cover but the sleeve here is reversible. We'll get to that momentarily. The back of the release, it's got the same plot synopses, the same list of extras, the same specs, etc., etc. On the inside here, we have a booklet. And behind the booklet is a card featuring <laughs> white fire. My God, look at that. Now that looks like a movie. And check out that chainsaw. That looks like the chainsaw from Chainsaw Massacre 3. My goodness, I'm going to have to look into White Fire. Looks like uh, looks like quite the movie. On the back of it, we've got Join the Cult. Explore classic cult and art house cinema. Arrow Academy. Yeah. Check out the booklet here. Fairly thick booklet. There are the contents. We get a write-up by... Anton Battelle, entitled Haunting by Proxy, Misdirected Messages in the One Missed Call Trilogy. Yeah. So let's just kind of flip through here, take a look at uh, what's inside the booklet. All the cast and crew for uh, the films included in this set. Got some nice full color images from the films also. Got a brief write-up about the transfer, the credits, special thanks, and there you go. The sleeve is reversible, and on the reverse of the sleeve, we have got kind of a mashup of the artwork for the individual One Missed Call films. This is a three-disc release. As you can see here, One Missed Call gets its own individual disc, and the sequels are on the same disc. Now, usually I don't like it when we have two films on the same disc in this kind of release. Of course, it does lower the price, the production price, which means a lower price for the consumer. But um, 
I, I don't really mind it that much here. So yeah, one missed call gets its own individual disk, and the sequels uh, have to share space <laughs> on uh, one disk. Overall, a very solid release for the One Missed Call trilogy from Arrow Video. I'll post a link to Arrow Video's website in the description. Go over and check them out. Again, keep your eyes peeled. I do intend to do individual reviews of all three of the films included on this release. I'm really looking forward to revisiting One Missed Call. I do recall liking it quite a bit, but I have not seen either of the two sequels. So I'm looking forward to checking those out also. So I'll do full reviews of those films as well as their individual uh, extras, picture quality, sound quality, etc. in the very near future. If you're a fan of the One Missed Call films or if you pre-ordered this set from Arrow Video, please let me know down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also somewhere around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and until next time, peace. Join the A Buck a Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, B-Movie Mike, Robbie Sobel, Turi Delamore, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Craig Farrand, Farron Sutton, Jeremiah Lambert, Grindhouse Grotto, Derek Janna, Demon Waffles, Simon Clark, Stone Gasman, Zachary Barton, Lorne Dixon, James Welch, Eli Geisler, Jeff Overing, Pete Toll, Kyle McGuire, Jay the Stingray, Andrew McDonald, Dave Barnes, Jonathan Lundy, Chris Gonzalez, The R-Rated Show, Fear Fuel, Jason Breitenbach, Brandon Bisdick, Stakes Sauce, Mark Striano, Jeff Gardner, The Obsolutionist, Chris Earls, Kevin Fitzpatrick, Randall Beatty, Joseph Hinkle, Hey Isn't That Devon Graham, Christian Hanna Horror, HorrorBreakdown.com, Jeanette Spivak, Orc145626, W.E. Bora, Jeffrey Hill, Dave Vanderhoff, Nene and Jesse, Captain Halloween, Brad Frazier, and Mark Lopez. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.